in this video we will learn a couple of common greetings and uh, it's really going to be exciting because uh, whenever you meet someone who is an asthmus guy you need to speak to him like a simple thing like how are you doing or how was your day where are you going come and sit simple things right so it's really easy to really understand via Hindi so I'm gonna speak in English then in Hindi my Hindi is not that great but I'll just try and uh, then I'll speak in Nesmis so it will be clear right in English you say what's your name in Hindi you say tumhara naam kya hai in Nesmis I'll just break it down easily okay tumhara becomes tumar Nam stays as Nam. Kya hai becomes ki. So it is Tumhara Nam kya hai becomes Tumar Nam ki. As simple as that. Tumar Nam ki. So in Hindi you reply Mera Nam Rajiv or Mera Nam Rakesh. In Asmis Mera becomes more. Okay. More means Mera. Naam Rajiv. More Naam Rajiv. More Naam Rakesh. So it's as simple as that. Okay, let's take another example. What work do you do? In Hindi you say, Tum kya kaam karte ho? In Asmis you say, Tumi ki kaam kora? Tum becomes Tumi. Kya becomes ki? Kam remains as calm. Karte ho becomes kara. Okay. To me, ki kam kara. Now, as I'm speaking, a couple of you guys might relate this language to Sanskrit. And you're not wrong because both Hindi and Asmis were derived from Sanskrit. And Bengali is quite similar to Asmis because Bengali and Asmis are sister languages and uh, you'll find quite similar to the end that's how you can learn easily okay let's take another example now in english you say you go in hindi you say tum jao in asmis you say to me jua tum becomes to me jao becomes jua to me jua if you don't want to go what will you say in english you say i don't want to go in Hindi you say Main nahi jaunga. In Assamese you say Moi Main becomes Moi Nahi jaunga becomes Na jao In Hindi you say Na jao To someone If you are asking someone not to go But in Assamese You use that as a first person You say Moi na jao Moi na jao I won't go Okay That's how you say Then in English you ask Why In Hindi you say Q in Asmis, you say kyo. Q becomes kyo. Why? In Asmis, it's kyo. Then uh, you might reply, because I don't want to. Okay, in English. In Hindi, you say, mera man nahi hai. In Asmis, you say, mur, mon, nai. Mera becomes mur. Mani stays as man. Nahi hai becomes nai. Mur, mon, nai. Okay, more, mon, nai. I don't have the heart to go. I'm or in other words, I don't want to go. Mera man nahi hai. Right? It's quite simple, isn't it? I'm gonna cover a lot of other sentences, but I'm gonna keep this video short. <coughs> this is just a simple uh, video, but a lot of um, words in Asmis remains the same as English or Hindi. Like, you don't uh, use a different word for chair, table, fan. You use chair, table, fan, pen, pencil. This all remains the same as in English. But in Asimus, there are words like chair, you say, so key, but you can use chair. I mean, table, you just, you just say table or match, but you say table, that's fine. So chair, table, all the nouns, right, proper nouns, they remain as proper nouns. And let's take an example, a couple of examples of uh, uh, vegetables, right? So in Hindi, dal, in Asmis you say dali, in uh, Hindi for rice, uh, you say 
चावल इन एस मीज यू से साउल और यू से बैंगन तो ब्रिंजल्स राइट इन हिंदी बैंगन इन एस मीज यू से बैंगना यू से विंदी तो लेडीज फिंगर्स एंड इन एस मीज यू से फेंडी फिंदी बिकम्स फेंडी आलू से इसे सालू In as means, though you need to remember a couple of things. With elders, uh, you usually use the word "okay," "ok." You use "ok," okay. And for normal kids or your friends, you can like with whom you can say "tu," "tera." You can use "tera" to sort of things with with people like "dga." Like in Hindi, use with your friends, you say "de." ये दे मुझे बट विथ एन एल यू से ये दीजिए मुझे बट इन एस मे इज इट्स सेम ओके इफ इफ यू वॉन्ट समथिंग यू से डो बिकम्स डी आर राइट टू गिव समथिंग और इफ यू आर आस्किंग फॉर समथिंग से इन इंग्लिश यू हैव अ सेंटेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्लीज गिव मे राइट इन सो इन हिंदी वेन यू से मुझे दो इन एस मीस यू कैन से मुझे बिकम्स मुख मुख दो बिकम्स डिया ओके डिया मीन्स डी आई वाई ए डिया मीन्स गिव मी दो सो यू से मुख डिया एंड वेन यू आर स्पीकिंग टू एन एल्डर यू जस्ट पुते ओके एट दी एंड मुख डी ऑक इफ यू स्पीकिंग टू एन एल्डर मुख डी ऑक और से प्लीज ईट इन इंग्लिश In you say in as um, in Hindi you say ka kaiye right in as means you say kaok so when you say in Hindi you might say if it's a small guy kaiye kale I mean kale so in as means you say kailo that's all so it's not really that different kailo but if it's an elder kailo okay in the end. That's a pretty simple thing that you need to remember. But it doesn't okay doesn't like ok doesn't go along with all those like uh, words. But it goes along with a lot of words and it's it's gonna gonna be beneficial for you. But if you're speaking for the first time in a to an asthmatic guy who's an elder, it's better to use the word ok, or else they might feel insulted. I mean, it's quite common in the culture and all. So. Hopefully, I'm. Um, it's almost eight minutes. I'm just gonna keep it short. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna make a couple of more uh, videos, and uh, this is my first time trying to make YouTube videos, trying to teach a language when I flunked at languages, to be honest. Uh, but I'm just trying my best, doing my duty, and all the best. Have a good luck, and do not forget. Okay, do not forget to tag at least one friend of yours, one Hindi-speaking friend. in the comment section below let him come let him listen to this youtube video you just going to make one more friend i mean you just going to make him learn a couple of more words it's going to be easy for you guys to interact or maybe understand if you're on the phone talking on the phone at least you can understand what you're saying right or if you're with another if two sms guys are speaking among each other at least you won't feel left out you at least understand them and that that's all you need right if even if you don't if you even if you can't speak the language just let's try to understand take care bye bye